Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was kind of crazy. As you can see, I got all types of in my house right now because my entire family has been staying and crashing at our house with all the kids. So it's been a lot, but I hope you guys been doing all right. Um, So, you know, I know on my channel, I talk a lot about equipment and things as far as upgrades and reviewing equipment, especially DJing equipment. However, don't, don't get it misconstrued. I buy all this stuff because it makes me money. So I also have photo booths and all types of add-ons that, you know, of course, companies and couples book for their weddings. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this ring roamer photo booth so the key thing you got to know about this photo booth is instead of your guests and clients going to the photo booth the photo booth comes to you so i got this idea from another dj homie named dj flips out of dc he does a lot of weddings he also owns his own photo booth company but he told me about this and i think it's a great concept as far as being able to have something on the go it's not a lot to carry really it's just your ipad and this ring roamer so we are going to do the unboxing of it and of course i'm going to leave where you can buy it, purchase Link, who I talk to exactly about getting one and things like that so if you want to add on to your company want to add on to your DJ business make more money the photo booth is definitely an add-on that people love to gravitate towards because who doesn't love taking pictures so we're gonna do the unboxing of this and I'll see you guys after the jump click so click right. click like click subscribe appreciate y'all for tuning in all right peace All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I bought the Ring Roamer Freedom to Roam photo booth. All right, so the whole point of this photo booth is to be able to take it on the go. Uh, for me, to be honest, I wanted to have another add-on that can make me more money as well as not having a big footprint to pack. And this is it. I mean, you know, you can charge anywhere between $600 to $1,000 for this and you don't have to pack anything. Really, all it needs is an iPad. So I have my old iPad here and I'm going to do the unboxing of it and we're going to put it together. All right. All right. So um, I opened it, but essentially it comes with of course your allen wrench two screws uh the battery charger to charge it. it comes with directions and the directions basically to say to open these these eight screws up put your ipad in there and then put your handle right here and then essentially you should be good to go so we're gonna do that really quick and i'm gonna walk y'all through it and show you guys what it looks like all right so it says to remove the eight screws so you're gonna need a screwdriver so we're just gonna remove the eight screws on the back using a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna do that really quick. <laughs> it comes with the handle. We're gonna really hard I think it's a metal and turn it around so you guys can see the inside of it so this is the inside of it and once again this is the ring roamer all right I haven't cut it on yet uh, so let's go ahead and take the screws off and then get the iPad and the where's the handle and get the handle installed. So the handle is metal. Uh, it's got a cushion on it right here. Might be easier for your hand and for your wrists and anyone holding it. So let's go ahead and place iPad 10 into the slots. Okay, so we're gonna place it, your iPad. So when you buy the Ring Roamer, it gives you the options of which iPad to choose from as far as the casing. I have the iPad 10. I use it for place the iPad 10 into slots. It's a tight fit to hold in place. Make sure the top of the iPad is the top of the ring roamer. Alright, so how do you know which one's the top? Uh, I'm just going to assume this is the top. Like that. And that's the bottom. So, it is a tight, snug fit. It fits right into there, like that. 
and once I screw it in it should be good to go but I think that's it right there all right so place this in here all right so we placed it in and then we're going to how do you know it's the top of the up at the top of the ring over you know what I'm saying you, you don't know so I'm assuming that's the top and this is the bottom so okay Like that, all right. And we're going to say insert power pad cable to bottom of my pad. Power pad cable, oh, right here. Perfect. So this is the charger for your iPad, and this goes to the bottom of your iPad. Ah. So you can tell which one is the bottom of the iPad because of this indention. So this would be the bottom of your ring roller. So, all right. So, we hooked it up right here. And it says that cables will be in between the iPad and the back of the unit. Also gives you two screws for the button. And we're gonna screw those down. So right here, as you can see, I'm gonna take these off. And I'm gonna take these out take the screws out right here so we're gonna take these two screws out right here and we're gonna put this in here and then screw it back onto the back kinda wish you would have told me that but hey what can you do you just gotta figure it out Just gonna screw it in hand tight. Perfect. Well, I don't know if it's perfect. So, all right. So, all right. So now we go ahead and close it. <clears throat> so, screwing them all in, all the eight screws back in, making sure they're tight. Uh, I'm not making sure, I don't want them to be super tight because I don't want to the threading. So, so that's it. So it looks like this. All right. The back looks like this. So <clears throat> there's also these flower looking things right here. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but uh, you don't screw those in. All right, so it's just these. Okay, perfect, I think. We'll see. All right, so for right now, um, it does come with a charger right here, so I guess you can plug in your battery charger. Have that in your pocket, but for right now, we're just gonna plug it straight into the wall with the power. This power pack is very short, so I had to use an extension. So, extension, yeah, look at that. All right, so we just cut it on, hit trigger button three times, and the LED will be active. This puts a ring roamer into roamer mode. So, so now it's in roamer mode. Hit trigger button one more time, and this will put the ring roamer into white LED cloud for photo mode. There it is. So that's photo mode. All right, hit trigger bigger one more time to enter data mode. All right, so it's got different programming that you can do. Um, so what I'll do is <clears throat> I'll just post a picture of this so you guys can see it on my channel. All right, so that's my code. Bruh. All right, so I use Snap Pick. And Snap Pick is awesome. Uh, you can really call them at any time. They'll respond back fairly quickly. Your iPad, iPad, okay. All right, so let's go to Snap Peak. We'll go to Upcoming, Refresh, Test Roma. Hit Start Booth. All right, and let's take a picture. All 
Alright, so let's see what it looks like. Perfect. So now all you have to do is hit text, uh, put in your phone number, and let's see what it looks like. Alright. Cool. So that's how this thing works. Uh, it was really simple to put together. Um, price. I'll leave the price. Um, how much I paid for it. I'll leave the link. You guys can see that as well. And that was it, man. This is it. You know, I think I'm going to be able to charge anywhere between, uh, you know, $600 to $1,000 for this uh, for a corporate event. So that's all you have to do is hit tap to finish. Let's do burst. So three, two, one, look here. Hey, look at that. So, and you can do that. Text, 911. You can also go to the gallery. But this is it. I think this is pretty cool. I think um, people will definitely be interested in this. Uh, of course, because it's a little bit cheaper. And with the button, it can go through the settings. So you see how you can get brighter, different colors. I like the rainbow. I think the rainbow is pretty cool. All right, so that's how it works. Once I get an update on how to use this, take it with you. I will update you guys. So we'll take it on the first corporate gig coming up here shortly. This thing is actually kind of heavy. You know, I'm not going to lie. It's very very sturdy so i will say it's about 10 12 pounds holding it up so but i'll let you guys stay tuned and i'm gonna give you guys some updates all right so i hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of the ring roamer and i'll leave the link and everything in the bottom of course uh, get it hope you guys maybe try to add on to your services to make you to make you more money so so don't forget to click like Click subscribe. If you have a comment, please leave me some comments. I don't care if it's good or bad. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Adam's Worth on my channel. All right. Peace.